Hi, this is Ryan with Blur Technology Group, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at creating restore media onto a USB uh, flash drive, four gigabytes or larger. Um, basically, all you want to do at the start is go ahead and plug in your flash drive, uh, give it a few seconds to uh, recognize that your your drive is plugged into the machine, as you'll see here in a second. Once your flash drive is ready to go, uh, go ahead and click the link below the video, uh, the one marked Windows Restore Media Creation Tool. Uh, this will take you directly to the download site for this. Once you've clicked the proper link, uh, this page right here should pop up. Uh, you'll want to just go ahead and click Download Tool Now. This will be towards the bottom of the page as you can see here in the video. This will begin the download and you'll just want to download this file and run it just like any other file. Uh, if you're using Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge uh, in Windows 10, um, once it's downloaded you'll have these three options here and you can just go ahead and click Run. Clicking Run will bring up the User Account Control option uh, where you'll just want to click Yes. This will run the Media Creation Tool. Uh, for some reason it brought me back to Microsoft Edge and the tool is actually running behind uh, the browser so as you can see here I did need to close the browser to to uh, access the actual tool window this is the window we're looking for right here and we'll want to select the option to create installation media uh, for another PC. So just go ahead and click on this circle here. Uh, once this is checked, uh, you can just go ahead and click on the next box in the bottom right hand corner. In the following select language architecture and edition screen here, uh, there's three drop down boxes. However, you will not be able to uh, access these boxes unless you uncheck this box down here that says use the recommended options for this PC. Once this box is unchecked you'll have options to change the architecture from 64-bit to 32-bit uh, or the edition from Windows 10 to Windows 10 Professional. Um, you'll most likely want to keep 64-bit. The only way you would need to switch this to 32-bit is if you have some kind of legacy hardware um, that needs to run in 32-bit to be accessed, but this is very rare these days. Uh, as for the addition, uh, you'll want it to match your product key. So if you have a Windows 7 or a Windows 8 product key, you want to look at your product key. Uh, and if it has the word professional, uh, you will want to click on the addition drop-down box and switch that to Windows 10 professional. If you already have Windows 10, uh, you shouldn't have to change anything. It should recognize exactly what you have here. Uh, once you've made your selections, go ahead and click on the next button. It will now ask you what media to choose. Uh, we'll be using the USB flash drive. Uh, this is typically the best option. Uh, you can download the ISO file and then burn it to a DVD later uh, to create your own restored disk. Uh, but the USB flash drive is a much better option in the long run. Um, so once it should be selected by default. So at this point, you can just go ahead and click Next. Now it'll ask you to select the proper flash drive um, I do only have the one flash drive in here, so it is by default. If you have two, you will be able to select which one you would like. Uh, once you have this selected, just go ahead and click Next. It will now begin to start downloading the files you need to create this USB flash drive. Uh, this process took roughly about 15, 16 minutes. Uh, we do have relatively quick internet here, uh, so it might take you five minutes. It might take you an hour, uh, just depending on the speed of your internet. Uh, I'm going to skip a good portion of this to save some time on the video, so we'll come back uh, when it's much closer to 100% download. The next step will be verifying your download. This should only take a couple minutes. Uh, it's just going to verify that the files you've downloaded didn't get corrupted in any way.
following the verification, uh, you'll get to creating Windows 10 Media, which is actually the final step. Uh, it'll actually write the files onto your USB drive. After this is completed, uh, it should be ready to use. Um, took roughly about 35 minutes on my machine. Uh, these, this time can vary drastically depending on the speed of your machine and especially on the speed of your flash drive. That's probably the most important factor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut out most of this and fade in and fade out here uh, just to save some time. Once you've reached this final screen here, the process will be complete. Uh, you can feel free to remove your USB flash drive from your computer. Everything should be good to go with your restore media. Uh, below this video on YouTube, there will be a link uh, on how to actually use your USB flash drive to reload Windows if you need to. Uh, you might need to minimize this if you have it full screen, but it will be right below the video in, in YouTube. Um, so I hope this video helped. Uh, if you need any assistance, certainly feel free to give us a call Monday through Friday, uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Number is 855-252-4784. Again, that's 855-252-4784. You can also email us directly. Uh, our direct email is support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at Blair, which is B as in boy, L-A-I-R, T as in Tom, G as in George, Dot com. Again, that's support at blairtg.com. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.